Hey, what's up everybody? So I wanted to make this video response for Sue who is asking to see our beater knives. And beater knives are basically the knives that we are not afraid to use heavily or just utterly fuck up beyond all recognition. So <clears throat> I had to go looking for these well, I had to go looking for three of these knives. This one stays at my computer always. But I found them and let's just go over it a bit, huh? <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go left to right. Here we have what looks familiar to I'm sure most of us. Looks like the Kershaw leak, right? Well, this is actually a China-made no no name brand knife. I think I paid I want to say I paid maybe 10 bucks or so, 9 or 10 dollars at a flea market for this thing. And it has been a great user knife uh that sat at the computer with me. The the centering ain't even close. <laughs> it is so jacked up, dude. I mean, the whole blade is tilted cockeyed compared to the handle. But the spring assist feature does work. It is a frame lock. I mean, it's okay for what it is. Uh, definitely not afraid to use that one. This one is made by Sharp, if you guys have ever heard of that. Yeah, I was going to say maybe a fake leather sheath, but uh, that's real leather, I think. Look, It looks it anyway. <clears throat> anyway, this is a Bowie style knife. And honestly, it's been a great user. This thing has gone out with me uh, back when I would go fishing from time to time. This knife went with me. Probably anywhere from a $10 to $20 Bowie knife at Walmart. I mean, it's not bad. It's doable. I mean, it's something. This little guy came uh, was a gift to me from Shane at Shane of Ruins. This is the Gerber Mini Paraframe Frame Lock. And as you can see from the blade there, which does need a thorough cleaning, this knife gets a lot of use. This knife sits at my computer all day, every day, and I use it to open all sorts of things that doesn't get done on YouTube. If if I don't do an, uh, an unboxing or an unpacking on YouTube, basically this knife opens everything else. So, very cool. Next up, another no-name brand knife. And this knife, all stainless steel, tries really, really hard to be an Endura. But I gotta say, it's not a bad deal. I don't remember what I paid for it, but again, another flea market find. The fit to this knife is pretty damn tight. I guess the blade has no choice but to be centered on it. But it has a single-sided thumb stud, which can probably be moved over. I don't know. Combo edge. As you can see from all the scuff marks and everything, this knife has definitely been been used, been carried. I, I loved this knife. I was surprised. I, I hadn't seen it in forever. I was surprised I still had it. But uh, I had my initials engraved on it, GKW. And most of you may know that I used to sell knives. However, when I was selling knives, I was a lot younger and... I didn't know n nearly what I know now when it comes to knives back then. I, I didn't know the quality stu stuff. Uh, 
I didn't know what the hell I was doing basically, but my business name is On The Edge. I still have an active DBA license, I believe, for On The Edge. But it's a cool knife. 440 stainless. Where the hell is this thing made? I don't even know where this thing was made at, man. If you can imagine, nobody even claims it. <laughs> There's no China, Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Pakistan, Taliban. There's nothing on it, dude. I guess nobody wants to take ownership of it. But it works for me. I like it pretty good. So, <clears throat> there's been a lot of these videos going around for what are uh, showing our beater knives. Um, I will put the link to Sue's original video in the description. I just don't want to have to hunt down everybody's video and leave links to everybody. So, just type in beater knives and it should bring it up pretty good. So, there you go guys. Hope that was okay for y'all. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.